Hot water heating is your third largest energy expense in the house. Most people don't know that. Hi everyone. Water heater market was valued for 26.89 billion US dollar in 2021 and it is expected to grow 39.96 billion US dollar by 2030 at a compound annual growth rate of 4.5% during the forecast period 2023 to 30. The market for water heaters is driven by households, hotels and hospitals. The global water heater market plays a crucial role in meeting the growing demand for hot water across various sectors. The key driving factors for the water heating market are the growing population, urbanization and improving living standards particularly in developing regions. According to US Department of Energy, water heating accounts for 20% of residential energy consumption. Go the home of about uh, say, say a three bedroom house uh, family, four, four to six member family, will spend about uh, between 50 to 60% of the overall electricity costs on, on water heating. Hot water for bathing, normally electrical geysers consume so two kilowatt of electrical heater, more consumption of electricity in each household. The region wise, Asia Pacific, Middle East and Africa, Europe, North America and Latin America. Electric geysers, solar thermal and gas geysers, water heaters are the popular used primary resources. The electric is still the dominant player in the water heater market, capturing a significant revenue share of 51.2%. The major challenges in water heating sector is high energy consumption leading to carbon emission and environment concerns. The rising awareness about energy conservation and the adoption of renewable energy sources are creating opportunities for the integration of solar water heaters in a residential and commercial buildings. Significant surge in demand for eco-friendly and cost-effective energy solutions for water heating is expected to drive the solar water heating market growth. Some consumers are looking to save some green and so they're going green when it comes to their hot water bills. More and more homeowners are discovering that the cost savings of solar water heating systems are really worth it. Solar water heaters, it's not a power generator but it is a power saving unit. Each solar water heater can save 40% of the electricity on each household. Solar thermal is a proven, actively sustainable technology that offers a clear path to reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Even a solar water heater is a rooftop system. The government creates a level playing field by extending subsidy to solar water heater so that the electric distribution companies save electricity. The peak demand is reduced. Solar water heating system, there are many, many advantages. I like highlight mainly uh, as far as due to the present technological changes, the life of solar water heating systems have gone up. It is expected 15 to 20 years. Thousand numbers of solar water heaters of 100 liters capacity is equal to 1 megawatt peak load reduction. This will help indirectly the energy consumption and energy conservation. 100 liters of solar water heater is equal to reducing 1.5 tons of CO2 footprints per year from the conventional fossil fuel energy consumption. Solar thermal systems works on harnessing solar energy and converts into heat. Heat is collected through solar collector and this energy is transferred to a water tank via natural convection. In the case of evacuated vacuum tube solar systems, glass tubes containing copper heat pipes with a selective infrared emission losses. The upper part of the heat pipes is embedded into the duct through which water circulates for heating. When sunlight strikes the plate, the fluid within heats up and vaporizes. Through natural convection, it rises to the top of the tube, transferring heat to the water in the duct. Based on the collector type, the solar water heater is classified as flat plate evacuated tube. Our customers often ask us whether they should use vacuum tubes for their solar hot water or flat plates for their solar hot water. The vacuum tubes are designed for the harsh winters here in Maine. They'll produce more hot water in the winter than the flat plates will. But the key is you have to keep the snow and ice off of these. So if these are high up on a rooftop and you can't get to them, they may be covered with snow uh, part of the year. Whereas the flat plates, they have the heat transfer fluid actually going through the, the flat plate 
and that will melt the snow and ice, which uh, allows you to make hot water in the winter with these. So it depends on uh, your preference. The tubes are about a third more expensive than the flat plates, but if you look at both systems side by side on an annual basis, they both produce the same amount of hot water. Solar water heater market size was valued at USD 5.57 billion in 2022 and is expected to grow 9.56 billion US dollar by 2032 at a compound annual growth rate of 5.2% during the forecast period of 2023 to 2030. The region-wise, the Asia-Pacific of course leads with the market share of 42.60 percentage dominated by China and followed by India. In addition, a rise in concern from government on increased global warming issues is expected to further enhance the demand for solar water heaters. A study by the International Energy Agency estimates that 2050 solar water heating system could save more than 70 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year globally. To be more specific, should I invest in solar PV or should I invest in solar thermal heaters? The simple answer is solar thermal is the most cost effective option for you. The reason is that in winters, almost 60% of the energy consumption goes into providing your heating. If we can capture solar energy to meet even a small portion of our heating or hot water requirement, it goes a long way in saving us gas or electricity bills. One can also install a solar PV system. However, if the end use of electricity is to provide heat, then we are much better off using a solar water heating system. Because it indirectly saves your electricity. There with a solar PV investment wise, a typical household 200 liter capacity solar water heating system costing around 30,000 rupees saves around 8 units per day. Similar capacity if we need to have from the solar PV, we need to invest around 1.5 lakhs. So investment is 5 times the same output. Space required also is uh, one fifth. Solar water heaters, it not a power generator, but it is a power saving unit. Each solar water heater can save 40% of the electricity on each household because heating hot water for bathing Normally, electrical geysers consume so, 2 kilowatt of electrical liter. It will be more consumption of electricity in each household. Even solar water heaters, normally using in the bathing purpose, the morning and evening hours, but it is reducing uh, drastically the peak demand load of electricity, even for morning and also evening. Governments across different countries offer rebate and incentive schemes on installation of solar water heating systems. And again, there's some very uh, lucrative rebates, tax credits out there now, federal tax credit of 30% unlimited for this system. I see Larry frowning. And the Energy Regulatory Commission is warning developers who are yet to comply with the solar water heating requirements. In May this year, property developers across the country were given till the end of November to have installed solar water heating systems on their buildings. So it's actually, it has a good return on investment overall. Market research says, 18.2 million meters square of collector area were in operation in India at the end of 2021, of which 80% were vacuum tubes. The cumulated capacity is already fairly close to the target of 20 million meters square by 2022, set by the Solar India Mission. The installation of solar water heater in Karnataka is a 43% compared to the overall installation of India, because this installation in Karnataka made a revolutionary with Karnataka state make a mandatory for all installation of solar water heaters. Before giving the power connection of above 1,200 square feet of building, must install solar water heater. Then only electricity connection give for each household. As the capacity addition of solar PV technology increased, the government focus on solar thermal technology is diminished. The Ministry of New Renewable Energy also scaled back the incentives programs. The capacity addition for solar thermal water heating is reduced. This particular technology got ignored, did not pay enough attention to create awareness. Quality based systems are only encouraged, which are BIS approved, the Bureau of Indian Standards. Hence, kindly come out with the quality control order as soon as possible. The government is ignoring about the, the savings on electricity and the saving of carbon footprints.
yeah. this way. Small businesses are benefiting from this because it's actually putting a lot of the guys and the women in the construction trade back to work. You are seeing electricians, plumbers, uh, companies like Alchemy Construction out in California. You're seeing uh, Smart Systems USA and Fishkill New York. These guys are really benefiting from this. I'm all for it. As solar water heating involves a relatively simple technology, Local manufacturers, often small to medium enterprises, can independently produce, install and maintain these systems in many countries. This presents an opportunity to establish a value chain encompassing manufacturing, wholesale distribution, sales and installation as well as operation and maintenance. Key components of the technology such as the collector, pump or storage tank can be produced locally, fostering job creation within the community. The skills required for manufacturing, installing and maintaining of solar thermal systems can be easily transferred from occupation in manufacturing, construction and plumbing. The manufacturing, planning, installation and commissioning of small scale solar water heater systems for 10,000 single family households require more than 460,000 persons days. The labor requirement varying across the value chain. Domestic value creation can be maximized by leveraging and enhancing the capabilities. The solar heater distribution uh, in the country also uses a range of channels to distribute their water heaters, primarily to the private entrepreneurs or to the large entities that act as a solar water heater dealers and franchisee sub-dealers. Quality education when it comes to the training uh, and vocational skills part, where the hands-on training is provided to the individuals who are able to install the solar heating project. Uh, so the quality education is given and then we have the gender equality and finally there is responsible consumption and production. Along with the good manufacturers, coupled with a great training program for installation and commissioning of the solar heating system, India is bound to make leaps and boundaries in the solar heating segment. So it's time that all of us should push the solar water heating industry to a next level so that our domestic market, our manufacturing and employment also uh, increases. We as a country uh, gets a greater share in the market in the solar water heating system. The Solar Thermal Federation of India, a robust nationwide entity dedicated to promoting the solar thermal industry, held discussions with Mr. Ake Singh, Union Minister of Ministry of New Renewable Energy and MNRE officials, presenting a set of strong recommendations. Subsequently, Ministry has accepted and commenced the implementation of these recommendations. Some key suggestions include Given Karnataka's success, similar policy shall popularize and implement a similar policy nationwide, extending its benefits to the other states. MNRE to reconsider introducing incentives and subsidies for solar water heating systems directly benefiting to end users. Additionally, setting an annual target will provide a framework for achieving widespread adoption. MNRE to include standards and establish a mechanism for quality control through a release by the Bureau of Indian Standard BIS. MNRE to introduce training programs under the Surya Mitra initiative to create a skilled workforce specifically for solar water heaters. To enhance information disseminations, MNRE to develop a dedicated portal. This platform will not only provide comprehensive information but also serve as a promotional tool on various social media platforms. The portal should include the updated list of BIS M panel manufacturers, ensuring transparency and aiding stakeholders in making informed decisions. MNRE is recommended to recognize workshops focusing on testing and certification to enhance industry standards and compliances. MNRE to prioritize and support research and development projects, particularly those demonstrating industry applications to foster innovations and advancements in the sector. The collaborative efforts between Solar Thermal Federation of India and Ministry of New Renewable Energy reflect a commitment to advancing the solar thermal industry in India with these recommendations poised to contribute significantly to its growth and development.
solar water systems are a powerful tool for promoting energy efficiency, reducing carbon emission and mitigating climate change. The advantages and the potential of the carbon emission offered by these systems cannot be overlooked. By embracing this technology, we can create a sustainable future and pave the way for cleaner and greener planet. So why wait? Come on, join the green revolution and take a step towards brighter future by considering installation of solar thermal water system at your house. Remember, every small action counts in building a more sustainable world.